Hey players, welcome to this Giannis film study. You're going to want to watch this whole video because I'm giving you some tips and some breakdowns and some things that if you apply to your game, you're going to be a better player. You're going to earn more minutes, score more points. You might go from the bench to starting. Whatever your goal is, if you can apply these tips that I'm sharing in this video and all my other videos, it's going to help improve your game. Now, drop a comment below because I'm giving away free shot coaching. This video is dropping on October. October 4th and I'm gonna go from October 4th to October 11th to let people drop a comment but on October 11th I'll respond to one of your comments and I'm gonna give one person free shot coaching so you would send in a video of your shot and I'll give you feedback on your footwork on your balance on your release um, on the ball path on your shot pocket all that sort of stuff I'll look at it and I will give you feedback so drop a comment below for that now let's get into this film study of Giannis. you look at the bottom left corner of your screen where it says lesson for each clip i'm going to give you one lesson one takeaway per clip so at the end of this video if you look at these there's going to be five clips if you get five things to add to your game that's pretty good um one thing i love about Giannis is just his mentality and that's what we are looking at in this first clip right here so Drew Holiday drives middle. Giannis obviously has a good cut because he sees that cut is open. But what makes Giannis so special is that he doesn't play cool. He plays really, really hard and he plays like he has something to prove every game. As a former college coach, when I would recruit or I would be talking with other college coaches who were recruiting, if players just played like they were cool or they were too cool to you know, sprint the floor or cut hard or go after the basketball very aggressively, if they were too cool for that, then we, then colleges wouldn't even recruit them. I wouldn't even recruit them. We'd just scratch them off the list. So how you play, how you play with an edge is very, very important. I've heard Giannis's press conferences. He's very humble and very hardworking. But I would guess you look at that draft in 2013. He was drafted 15th, and he is that was a bad draft, but he was by far the best player in that draft. And I'm sure part of his motivation was having 14 guys picked before him. And now Giannis might end up being one of the top 10 players of all time. So I say that with you players, you got to find what's going to motivate you because every practice and every game that you play in, there's going to be things that aren't, that are just kind of a distraction. You got to filter those out and think about what is going to give you an edge and what is going to make you play harder and more aggressively than every single player on the floor. So now we're moving on to this next clip. And this is kind of a go-to move for Giannis that he has when he drives. He has this spin move. For a lot of you players, you really have to be careful of your footwork here because I would guess like this clip right here, 80-90% of high school referees are going to call that a travel because it very well might be. But even with this spin move, you're going to see that the fundamentals still apply to all players. So might have gotten away with the travel, but right here, what are the fundamentals that even Giannis is using? Well, look, he's triple teamed right here, but he gets on two feet. That's the first fundamental. He uses a shot fake. That's the second fundamental. Third is he does a step through. So it's two foot shot fake step through. Now with Giannis being six foot 11, seven foot, however tall he is, obviously he's able to throw that basketball down. But even players, if you're watching this, you're five eleven, six four, six eight, whatever height you are, these fundamentals are still going to help you a lot. Because there's some of you players who you're pretty good. You may be averaging, I don't know, let's say 16, 17 points a game. But the reality is a lot of you, you could go from 16, 17 points a game to 25 points a game just by adding little stuff like this. Now, this is a screening action right here against the Pistons. And I wanted to show you one kind of screening principle that works in motion offenses or kind of read and react type of offenses. So right here, it looks like he's screening for Pat Connaughton. Pat's going to cut in, so Pat's going in to the paint, which means Giannis as the screener goes out. So anytime you are screening or you are cutting off of a screen, if some, like if uh, if the person you're screening for goes to the three point line, they go out. That means you as the screener typically should go in because now you're going opposite ways and making the defense cover more space. What a lot of players do is like they'll set this screen and then they'll just cut on top of the cutter ruining the spacing and ruining the offense. You want to go opposite ways. And then also the other thing to notice is, do you want to score more points? 
if you do set good screens because if you set good screens it confuses defenses and then it leaves you or the cutter open what was that sorry drop something now this next clip against the wizards we're going back to this kind of go-to move that he has with the spin move but i wanted to bring up one key point about this spin move Players, a lot of you, and I've, I've seen a lot of players, what they'll do in a situation like this where really there are, look at all these help defenders. One, two, three, four defenders are all locked in on Giannis, and they are all basically in the paint or one step away from the paint. A lot of what you players do is you spin, and as you make this spin move, you keep going downhill. And by continuing to go downhill, you run into help, and then it's either a jump ball or a charge. But something to think about with your spin moves is after you spin, get on two feet like this and settle in, settle down. Because otherwise, if Giannis would have just kept going forward to the rim, even though Harold's in the charge circle right here, it could have been a charge, you know, high school or college, that player is still going, it's definitely a charge. So players, if you have if you have the spin move kind of in your offensive arsenal, work on, yes, yeah, spinning and still going straight downhill, but work on spin, get to a jump stop or, or a, kind, of a, kind of a two-foot stop, get under control, and then you're reading the defense. If they step up, you know, maybe you could shoot over them or you could do a bounce pass, you could kick out, you could do a shot fake step through, whatever it is, but this is just a move to consider that's going to eliminate some charges and unnecessary, unnecessary turnovers. Much the same thing here. Now it's a ball screen. Same thing. He, he went, let me go back to the end clip. Same thing. He went spin move. Kind of had just an eye fake, not even a shot fake, but his head is kind of at the rim right there. Players, when you're doing your shot fakes or your head fakes, you always got to make sure your eyes get to the rim. And then, of course, being the beast that he is, he gets the dunk because he is the Greek freak. Now, one other thing, and this will be the last point that I that I bring up with Giannis, on this driving move right here, this is kind of his most common driving move. Ja Morant has this move as well. Players, you can work on this to add to your game as you're going. Because what a lot of you players do is you'll do between, cross, behind, spin, between, cross. You'll do eight different dribble moves to go nowhere. But watch how efficient this dribble move is right here. So he squares up. He has some space against the defense so he can get some speed and momentum going downhill. And then what Giannis likes to do is throw the ball out and then he either jabs or he just throws it out and goes by the defense. What Ja Morant does is he'll cross from right to left. So a ball will go from this hand, cross over to this hand, and then he'll jab that way. So there's similar moves, but this is a good move that you can have to add into your driving arsenal because it's efficient, it's in a straight line, it's quick, and it's not wasting a ton of dribbles. Now, that is it for this film study. I have a lot more film studies. The recent ones I dropped were LeBron James and Joel Embiid. Check those out as well because I cover a lot more fundamentals there. And I love using game film because this shows basketball in a five-on-five -five context, which is what all you players need to learn in order to learn the game now if you want training you can go to my training platform it's in the first link below optimalbasketball.com there's a lot of free workouts and there's also something called the elite experience where if you're in that situation in your game where you're ready to improve all aspects of your game your your shooting your finishing your driving passing perimeter defense post play whatever it is if you're at that point and you really want to take the jump to the next level in your game, I have everything that you would need on the Elite Experience. I'm a former college coach. I've coached high school. I've also worked alongside many NBA coaches and trainers, and I basically took everything I learned over the years of coaching and being around some great minds, and it's on that platform, and it'll really help your basketball career. So it might help you you know, make the varsity team, start the varsity team, get all region or all conference, earn a scholarship, if you're a college player, it's going to add some moves to your game that will help you perform at the college level. So no matter what your goal is, that will really help you. I appreciate you watching this video. Subscribe to the channel too for more content like this to help you keep getting better. Let's keep working and let's keep getting better.